guys, it's Ivan, and since today is the 909 day, we'll be breaking down a classic Detroit techno track by Jeff Mills called Bells, using the Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups, all sequenced by the ground control and processed by the Golden Master pedal. Jeff Mills created this track as a practical and effective DJ tool for his sets, and that's where the minimalism of his productions really shines. The entire track was produced by only using the TR-909 drum machine and a sampler that would play the stab and bell sounds. Today we're creating the setup using the Queen of Pentacles acting as our drum machine and Two of Cups as a two-channel sampler, with everything being sequenced by the ground control. At the end of the audio chain I also have the Golden Master pedal that we are using to EQ the overall sound, like on a typical DJ mixer, and also add some compression. Without further ado, let's push the project tempo up to 135 BPM and start patching. Let's start off by connecting the drums. The first output will trigger the kick drum. The third one will trigger the clap. The fourth one will trigger the open hi-hat. And the fifth one will trigger the right. The drum part of this track is very simple and let's start off by creating a 4 on the floor kick drum. The main trick of the Jeff Mills style is to program everything on the fly without stopping the sequencer, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's fire up the sequencer, enter the edit mode, select the kick drum and place one of them on the first step. Now we can continue with all the other parts, starting from the right. Then open hi-hat. And the clap. Now to make everything sound a little bit more punchy, let's start editing the Golden Master pedal. So let's start the sequence. Enable the compressors. I would also like to boost the low band EQ. Maybe a little bit of the mids. And then we go to the compressor. And here I'll just apply gentle compression on each band. Now we can also start playing with the pitch of the right signal. We can also shorten the right to create a slightly different flavor. And open it back up. Now let's see how to create this tap pattern. I have this tap sample on the queen over here. All I have to do is connect the gate outputs from track number two to trigger it. And we can fire up the sequence and record it to 16 steps. Now, as you can hear, I also have a tape delay over here, and I would also like to sync it to the external clock. So let's start the sequence. creates nice space from this tab. So to synchronize it with the external clock, all you have to do is press this button until the red LED blinks and send the clock output to the Fever CV input. And finally, let's see how to create the bell sound. So first of all, I'll have to connect the output of two of cups to the aux input. This means that everything from here will be just mixed in with all of the drums. Now let's connect the gate output from track number three to trigger the second voice on the two of cups. And the pitch output to the pitch input of voice number two. The sequence will be 16 steps as well, so let's start the sequencer and record it. Now 
since we are also using a stereo delay effect, we can take advantage of the mid-side mode on the pedal. So let's switch it here. Let's make the low band mono and widen the stereo image for the mid and high band. Now that the patch is ready, let's have a quick jam. And instead of just playing back the sequences, I will delete everything and recreate the track in Jeff Mills style on the fly. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and are inspired to make some 9 and 9 jumps today. As always, the project file will be in the description in case you would like to try it at home. And I think that is all for today. Hit the like and subscribe not to miss our future videos and have fun making music. See you next time.